I had my first ultrasound at my IVF clinic today. They are looking for the gestational and yolk sac. This is the sac. Okay. This here, that white little circle right on top there is the yolk sac. Oh, cool. Okay, so, so it's it in the cavity. So it all looks okay? Yes. Good. So it's where we want to see it. Okay. Now I'm going to measure it and okay. then we'll... I am measuring at five weeks, two days and everything looked fine overall next time i go in will be in another week and she told me that i should be able to see or hear the heartbeat so that'll be an exciting time and as of now i am definitely starting to feel bits of nausea here and there i had nausea really bad with brinley for a long long time so i feel like it's just a matter of time that it's just going to hit me pretty hard so i'm kind of bracing myself and my body for that but other than that, definitely looking forward to next week's ultrasound. So I am here by myself. No Brinley, no Ryan. It's the weirdest feeling, I'll be honest. Ryan is working. My mom took Brinley for a few hours because I have not been feeling well. And so I've been using this time to get a few things done around the house. And then I've just sat down to rest and update you guys on what's been going on this past week. So I had my ultrasound at the clinic. It was my second one. And I was able to see the heartbeat. Flickering. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I do see that. Mm -hmm. Will we be able to hear it today or no, just see it? Yeah. Okay. The heartbeat was 104 beats per minute. It should be around 100. I looked back at a document that I did for Brinley and she was 116, so I do like to compare that stuff. But overall, everything looked fine. I go back next week and that'll be my last week with my IVF clinic. Hopefully I'll be able to hear the heartbeat. Um, they gave me a discharge paper to fill out, which I filled everything out, and I need to bring that back. And they'll release all my records to my OB. And I've already made my OB appointment. That is set for the beginning of January, so everything's kind of lining up. Um, as for how I'm feeling, I told you guys last week that I was feeling bits of nausea, and it has completely hit me full on. It is 99% of the day. I feel so incredibly nauseous. I feel like I want to throw up a lot, but I have not. Sometimes I wonder if I should just try <laughs> to see if it makes me feel better, but I, I mean, who likes to throw up and I don't know. So I don't know. I just feel really gross. I, if eating is not helping with Brinley, I remember feeling extremely nauseous and food would help me a little bit temporarily, but it is not helping me. I, I am eating, but I don't enjoy it. Um, it takes me a long time to eat each meal because I don't enjoy it. I feel sick while eating. I feel sick before eating. I feel sick after eating. It just is constant. And I I know that this is what comes. I am prepared for it. I've had it last time, so I am kind of used to it. It's not fun, but it's it's worth everything in the end. So I told Ryan I created a new grocery list. You guys should see what's on this list. Like, Nothing sounds good. Nothing sounds good. The other day I said he threw out Chinese and so I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. And it, it wasn't. I was so disappointed. And so then we decided to order pizza and that actually felt good, but I was still nauseous while eating it. And I don't know, it just stinks. All this good food is just not appealing to me. But anyways, my grocery list, I put like mac and cheese. I want tortellini and Alfredo sauce. Um, I forget what else I put on there. I Tacos, tacos kind of sounded good. So I just want like the fattiest of foods and hope that that helps. I'm surprised we don't have any mac and cheese in the house, but so I need to get that soon. But anyways, that's really what's been going on is this last week I've just been feeling really, really sick. Um, and I'm prepared that it's going to be probably the entire first trimester. So anyways, I go in next week for an ultrasound. Currently, I am six weeks, three days. I will go in next week when I am seven weeks, and hopefully we will be able to hear the heartbeat and get discharged from my IVF clinic. Today, I had my third and final ultrasound at my IVF clinic. Oh, yeah. It's getting bigger, huh? The baby is getting bigger, the heartbeat is 136, everything is looking fine. I was able to see the heartbeat but not hear it today. So I'm assuming I go back to my OB and well from now I go back in three weeks and hopefully I'll be able to hear it then. 
but overall everything was fine. I was able to bring back my medications, all my needles. Um, that is going to be donated to a self-pay patient. When we had Brinley, we paid completely out of pocket and so I know what it feels like to receive very expensive medications to help us out. And I'm glad that with our insurance now, which covers pretty much everything, covers four rounds of, of IVF, um, that that medication is gonna go to another self-pay patient because I just wanna give back as much as I can. So they took that off my hands and they will give it to the right people. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm still feeling very sick all day, all night. I am taking Diclegis. I took Diclegis with Brinley and that actually helped tremendously, but with this baby, it's really not helping. I feel sick way often than I am not feeling sick so I know it's temporary and uh, yeah we'll just have to get through it but today I'm seven weeks one day and due date is August 4th 2021 and what else Ryan anything else that I'm forgetting uh, you're getting short of breath and I'm feeling short of breath like my heart is racing a lot I had that with Brinley around this time too so yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely feeling pregnant knowing I have all these crazy symptoms, but... Yeah, you throw up again. I did throw up. I threw up once. Um, I'm sure that won't I be really, the last really time. laughed at you. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to go throw up in the morning. <laughs> and Brinley's chasing after me. I shut the door on her and she's just laughing. She's putting her hands under the door, Ryan said. Yeah, she's so nosy. But anyways, that's that. So what I want to leave you guys with is... The next video, because I'm feeling so sick so often, I do want to put out a video, I just don't know when, and I want to do a Q&A. We haven't done a Q&A in a very long time. With my last video of announcing that we were pregnant, a ton of you guys were asking me questions. So I've already taken some of those questions and I put them into a document and I want to address them in our Q&A. However, if there's still other questions that you have, Put them in this in this video below, comment below, and ask me, and I'll pull some of those questions, and we will cover all of the questions you guys have. Um, it could be IVF related, it could be Brinley related. Um, I know we haven't done a huge update on Brinley, but um, lots of you guys were asking, are we going to transfer our last embryo? What are we going to do with that? Um, just a lot of other questions. Oh, are we having twins? Because my numbers were so high. So we'll go over all of that. Ask any questions you have and we will do a Q&A for our next video. Merry Christmas and we will talk to you guys later.